Good evening, yes, friends. Welcome to Daily News Analysis brought to you by Shankar IAS Academy. Today's date is 10th October 2024. Displayed here are the list of topics that we are going to discuss today. The first topic is about Nobel Prize in Chemistry for 2024. Let us discuss what are the contribution that has achieved this prize. The second article is about the government buying nuclear submarines MQ-9B aircraft and predator drones. Let us discuss about this in the second article. The third topic is about World Wildlife Fund report which is named as the Living Planet report. So let us discuss WWF report in the third article. So these are the three important articles we are going to discuss today. Before we get into the discussion, I have an important announcement. Shankar IAS Academy's pre stroming prelim test series is going on. Interested aspirants can use it. The link for this test series is given in the description. Let us get into the video. Now look at this article, it highlights a crucial issue. There is a dramatic decline in global wildlife population over the last 5 decades. So according to Living Planet report which is released by World Wildlife Fund, the global wildlife population have decreased by 73%. So this decline is primarily driven by habitat loss and land degradation and the impact of climate change and also due to invasive species. So there is a 73% decline in global wildlife population in the last 5 decades. So this is what the report by World Wildlife Fund is talking about. Let us discuss about this report and its concerns for India. First let us see some basics about World Wildlife Fund for Nature that is WWF. It is one of the leading global conservation organization and it is founded in 1961. It is headquartered in Gland in Switzerland. WWF mission is to conserve nature and to address the growing threats to global ecosystem. It operates in more than 100 countries and it adopts a collaborative approach. It also works with local communities and global stakeholders to protect the wildlife and ecosystems. So this is about the World Wildlife Fund for Nature. WWF has released a report called Living Planet Report. This report is released by WWF for every two years. The Living Planet Report uses an index called Living Planet Index, the LPI. This index tracks the population trends of over 5000 species. It includes vertebrates, amphibians, mammals, birds, fishes, reptiles, etc. So this index provides a critical measure of health of our planet biodiversity. The Living Planet Report uses this index that is Living Planet Index. And this Living Planet Index is not created by WWF. This is important thing to note here. This Living Planet Index is created by Institute of Zoology. This Institute of Zoology is present at Zoological Society of London. So the Living Planet Report is created by WWF and the Living Planet Index is produced by Institute of Zoology in Zoological Society of London. Now what are the key findings of this Living Planet Report? Let us see them. The report emphasizes over last 50 years there is a drastic decline in global wildlife population. As we have seen earlier, there is 73% decline in population of global wildlife. The most decline is seen in the freshwater species. There is 85% of population decline in freshwater species. This is followed by terrestrial species. There is 69% of decline in terrestrial species. And if you take the marine species, there is 56% of decline. So the primary drivers of this losses are habitat destruction, climate change and also invasive species. So this is what we have seen in the newspaper article. Another thing to note that India's vulture population has also seen an alarming decline. Especially the three vulture species, white trumped vulture, Indian vulture, slender billed vulture. So these three vulture population are now critically endangered. So this is also mentioned in the living planet report. So this drastic decline of vulture population poses severe ecological threat. The major reason for declining vulture population is a diclofenac, which is a drug which is used in cattle treatment. When the vulture feed on those cattle, this drug is transmitted into the vulture bodies and it is a major threat for vulture population. Now what are the concerns regarding the decline in vulture population? With a few vultures to consume the dead animals, the carcasses remain in the environment which leads to sanitation issues. There is also increase in other scavengers. As vultures disappear, other scavengers like feral dogs fill the gap. So this will increase the likelihood of disease transmission. Then there is also potential disease outbreak. The reduced number of vultures and the rising scavenger population can lead to disease outbreaks in both animal and human population. So these are the important concerns or ecological threats regarding the declining population of vultures. Now what are the conservation efforts? In order to mitigate this decline of vulture population, the conservation efforts like banning the use of diclofenac which is a drug 
used to treat the cattle and this drug is highly toxic to vultures. So protecting and restoring vulture population will help in maintaining the balance of ecosystem. This is because vultures play a critical role in keeping the environment clean and disease free by disposing the remains of dead animals. So this is about the importance of vulture. With this, let us discuss an MCQ related to this topic. Look at the question. This is a previous year question. Vultures which are used to be very common in Indian countryside some years ago are rarely seen nowadays. This is attributed to a drug used by cattle owners for treating their diseased cattle. So this is what we have seen in the discussion. The drug is called diclofenac and this drug is very toxic to vultures and it is a main reason for declining vulture population. So the answer is option B. With this, let us conclude the discussion and move to the next news article. Now look at this article. It is about the Nobel Prize for Chemistry 2024. It is awarded to David Baker, Demis Hassabis and John Jumper and they were awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for their groundbreaking contribution to protein science. So they have revolutionized how we study and manipulate proteins. So in this discussion, we are going to discuss what are their contributions. As I have said, the 2024 Nobel Prize for Chemistry was awarded to the study about proteins. First of all, what is a protein? See, protein is a large complex molecule which is made up of chains of amino acids. So these amino acids fold into specific shapes. So this is called a protein. Their structure is important because it determines a function and how they perform. So a structure of protein varies from different kinds of protein. So each structure of protein has specific task and function. So studying the structure of protein is very important to understand what type of protein it is. So proteins are basically made up of amino acids. Now why there are proteins in our body? See proteins more or less take part in all the parts of our body like building tissues and organs, regulating the biological process like enzymes and hormones, defending against infections like creating antibodies, transporting molecules for example take hemoglobin which is transmitting the oxygen. So in all these functions proteins play a major role. Now why studying a protein structure is important? See, the function of protein depends on the structure of protein. See, if a protein is folded in a certain shape, then it has a certain function. So, each structure of protein determines its function. If the protein is folded mistakenly or if a misfolded proteins are present, then it leads to diseases like Alzheimer and Parkinson. So, the structure of protein is very important for the functioning of body. It is also used to make specific drugs for the body. So, knowing the shape of the protein will allow the scientists to design drugs so studying the protein structure will also help to understand the cellular activities. Since proteins are involved in nearly all cellular process, understanding the structure of protein is essential to understand how the life operates at a molecular level. So studying the protein structure is very important. The people who have given the Nobel Prize for Chemistry this year have studied the protein structure and helped us to understand the better about the proteins. Now we may have a question like if protein comes under biology then why the Nobel Prize is given for chemistry? See studying a protein comes under biology but studying the protein structure comes under molecular chemistry. So that is why the Nobel Prize is given to chemistry. Now what are the significant contributions by the Nobel laureates who are given Nobel Prize this year? Firstly about the David Baker who created the computational protein design. The Baker research has led to the development of software that designs completely new proteins which do not exist in nature. So he engineered proteins to perform specific tasks such as targeting diseases or performing industrial functions. So David Baker has created a software that can design a completely new type of proteins. So this new type of proteins are called designer proteins and these designer proteins have practical applications. They can create enzymes or can break down plastics and they can design novel vaccines. So this computational protein design model is created by David Baker and that is why he was awarded Nobel Prize this year. Then about Demis Hassabis and John Jumper. These two persons have created an artificial intelligence model called AlphaFold2. This artificial intelligence model can predict the 3D structure of proteins by using their amino acid sequences. See, I have said that proteins are made up of amino acids. So by determining the sequence of amino acid, they can determine the structure of proteins. So this is what is done by Demis Hassabis and John Jumper. And their artificial intelligence model to determine the structure of proteins is called as AlphaFold2. Now we may have a question in prelims like the term alpha fold 2 refers to which of the following. It refers to AI model which can determine the structure of protein by using the amino acid sequence. So this is about the contributions of 
this year Nobel laureates for Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Now let us see what are the applications of these innovations. Firstly about healthcare. By predicting the protein structure, we can accelerate the identification of drugs. So this helps to decrease the disease curing period. Then we can also develop personalized medicine. For example, understanding the structure of protein will lead to creation of customized proteins to treat specific diseases. This can also speed up the creation of new vaccines by designing specific antigens with the specific proteins. So studying proteins and their structure is very important in vaccine development, in drug development and treating diseases. Nextly about agriculture. Developing plants with enhanced disease resistance and stress tolerance can be possible by studying the proteins and developing new varieties of proteins. So designing proteins can also help to increase the nutritional value of the crops. So crop improvement and nutritional enhancement are the two important benefits in agriculture. Now about environmental science. The newly designed proteins can be used to create enzymes that can break down pollutants like plastic and oil. So this can be used for bioremediation. It can also improve the biofuel production by engineering proteins that can mimic photosynthesis. So the protein models can be used in environmental science in terms of bioremediation and it can also be used for renewable energy. Then about biotechnology, eco-friendly industrial process developing enzymes for efficient process can be in as I have said earlier using the designer proteins that is the proteins which can be designed in the lab can be used for creating enzymes. So these enzymes can be created for efficient functioning and eco-friendly industrial process. Bio-based materials, synthetic drugs and pharmaceuticals can be created using the designer proteins. Even in defense technology, we can develop protein-based biosensors for detecting the pathogens and toxins quickly. So the designer proteins which are engineered in labs can be used for a variety of purposes like healthcare, defense, environmental science, agriculture, etc. So these are the important applications of this discovery. Now coming to the conclusion of the article, the contribution of David Baker, Demis Hassabis and John Jumper in protein science development is a transformative step. Their work not only advances our fundamental understanding of proteins, but also accelerate the innovation in proteins and medicine. So with this, let us conclude the discussion and discuss an MCQ related to this topic. Consider the following statement about the proteins. Proteins are composed of long chains of amino acids. Yes, this statement is correct. All enzymes are proteins, but not all proteins are enzymes. This statement is also correct because all enzymes are made up of proteins. But if you take proteins, all of them are not enzymes. So enzyme is specific while protein is a larger thing. So the second statement is also correct. Proteins play no role in immune system. This is definitely a wrong statement because proteins have important role in forming the antibodies which play an important role in immune system. So the correct answer is option A, 1 and 2 only. With this let us conclude the discussion and move to the next news article. Now look at this article. The Indian government has approved a major defense deal. This includes the construction of nuclear submarines and the purchase of MQ-9B predator drones. So these moves are intended to enhance India's naval superiority in Indian Ocean region. Let us discuss the importance of this defense deal in the discussion. Firstly about the strategic importance. See these nuclear submarines are expected to significantly boost India's naval capabilities. So the addition of these nuclear submarines will improve India's ability to maintain a strong presence in Indian Ocean region. The MQ-9B drones. These are remotely piloted aircraft which can be assembled in India and it can strengthen India's ISR. Here ISR means intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance. So these drones are vital for long endurance missions and they have capability to strike targets even from remote areas. So the procurement of these drones are made in the latest defense deal which is made by Prime Minister Narendra Modi during his visit to United States. Now what are the advantages of these MQ-9B drones? See these drones which are also known as Predator B are also called as Sky Guardian. It is a highly advanced multi-role drones which are remotely piloted aircraft. So these are developed by General Atomics Aeronautical System. As I have said earlier, these drones can be used for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance. So this is called ISR capability. As I have said earlier, these drones are also called as Sky Guardian drones. So there is a maritime variant for this MQ-9B drone which is called a Sea Guardian and it is optimized for maritime domain awareness. The Sea Guardian can track ships, monitor illegal activities including smuggling and also assist in search and rescue operations in sea. So the maritime version of Sky Guardian 
is called C Guardian. So these are called MQ-9B drones which are going to be purchased from United States. So this is about the article. Let us discuss an MCQ regarding this article. Consider the following statements regarding MQ-9B. The operational range of MQ-9B is 2000 nautical miles. It can fly up to 90 hours continuously. It can seamlessly switch between ISR and strike missions. So which of the statements are correct? The option 2 is incorrect because it can fly up to only 40 hours continuously. So the correct answer is option C, 1 and 3. With this, let us conclude the discussion. With this, we have come to the end of the discussion. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to Shankar IAS Academy YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.